Just waiting for some people to log on. A few more here. Got some people coming on. All right. Morning, Mark. How you doing, baby boy? How's the family? How's everybody holding up over there? Hope, uh, what's up, Tammy? How you doing? Morning. How's everything? All right, all right. Hope you and the fam are chilling. Um, what's up, June, baby? How you doing? Hope everybody's, uh, you know, making the best of what's happening. Morning, bro. Good. I'm good, Mark. How's you and your, your little, little beautiful, beautiful baby girls? You know, you got some, you got some quality time now, right? That you could actually. Good morning, Tammy. How you doing? You got some good time right now to hang out with the fam, Mark. You know, it's kind of like you know when June. I gotta tell you, man, your videos make me laugh. They really make me laugh. Like I can't begin to tell you, laughter is the best medicine. And when I, uh, I watch your videos, man, you, you, you make me smile. Just like I'm smiling now. You can't fake a smile, right? Uh, oh, great, Mark. I'm glad you got two beautiful. My man, Mark, got two beautiful twins. And if you all know June, that's on here. You got to subscribe to her channel, man. If you want some laughter, laughter is the best medicine, especially in times like this. Yo, go check out June Perry right here. She's on here. She is funny as hell. I'm telling you right now. I know since I'm a kid, she make me laugh. I I'm crying. <laughs> the, she, the one she did, I was on the floor, which is excellent. How you doing, Howdy? How you doing? What's up, Rob? Desiree? How you doing? June, you the goods, man. I mean it, man. I remember. Come on, kid. We go back. Hey, Claudine, how you doing? How's everything? Um, a lot of people starting to jump on right now. How you doing, Dennis King? How you doing? Nice to see you guys. Hey, Ronnie. My boy, Ronnie. Yo, let me put you on, man. That's my friend, Ronnie K. Cook, right there, who logged on. If y'all want to take a look at, check his page, man. You want to look at how living life, enjoying yourself, living the best, you know, what you choose to live and how you want to smile. That boy smiles more than anybody I know, man. My man, Ronnie, you keep doing you, man. Anybody got to tell you differently, homeboy. You do what you love to do, man, and keep smiling. I watch you. All love, Ronnie. What's up, Andrew? How you doing, baby? Dennis? Claudine? Looks like a lot of people have jumped on. So let's just uh, let's jump right into this, man. So oh, oh, we see this about the coronavirus, and um, we see that, you know, obviously, you know, it's spreading a little bit. And, and, and listen, I'm not a doctor. What up, D? How you doing, Andrew? What up, Jen, baby girl? How you doing? Hey, Claudine, I'm doing all right. How's you and the family? You know, hope everybody's doing all right, you know, in this uh, in this little bit of madness that's going on. But, you know, I'm a kind of guy, hey, Hope, how you doing? That, that, you know, I'm a speaker out here and I've been doing this a long time, you know, always trying to make people smile and be happy. So I got to be my true self. Right. And I'm going to be my true self. And, you know, during this time, I understand. And, 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 and sometimes you ask God for time and, and sometimes you're like, I can't pray. I don't have time to spend with my children. I don't have time to be on the phone with, you know, my mom all these hours because I know when I call her, she talks for a long time. Well, I think now, and I got to be positive because that's what I do, you know. I got to be the best version of myself I can be, and I'm going to be positive through this because I know 100% we're going to get through this. And what happens is, is that we got to just be really, really privy to hear our mental health and make sure that we understand that... Um, you know, we have to be true to ourselves and understand that all the things that we may have wished for, that we may have prayed for, because we're going to get out of this. It's how you're going to get out of it, Rocco. What are you going to create when you, what are you going to learn from all this? You see, when you pray for certain things from God, he may not tell you the same time where you're going to get them, but think about it. I wish I had more time with my kids. I wish I had more time on, to do my project I wish I had more time to spend with my family. I, well, now you got the time. Now God has given you the time and said, hey, you know what? We're going to get past this. The countries are getting past it. We've been past everything. Us as Americans, we are the most resilient people. We will, we got through the World Trade Center, the, the, the crash. I mean, I can go on and on. 2007, I mean, this country can rebound because under pressure, we do our best work. But what's really important is that we do it together, ladies and gentlemen. And I understand that this is going to play mind tricks on you. You got to keep the mental, you got to keep the mental correct. And what's really important, ladies and gentlemen, pay really close attention to this. And I, and I really mean this. Hey, Judith, how you doing? Is 
take a time, take time now to reflect on, you ready? What are you going to create when this is all over? What have we learned from this? Like for me, myself, like I'm going through the same thing as you. You know, we're all shut down, but I got to look at it and I'm going to look at, hey, what can I do to better myself when I come out of this? What am I going to create? Well, one thing for sure is compassion and understanding that, you know, other people have needs and understand that, listen, when your titles are stripped away and everything's taken advantage because you can't go out, you can't travel, you know, you can't go to work. So everyone's titles stripped away. And at this particular moment, you got to become your true self and your true self shine. So right here, you got to keep this correct. And June says, exactly, we need to take this time, band together, stay focused. Don't make the kids around us crazy. We got this. And the kids especially, they don't understand that they're going to be confined. They're not <clears throat> understanding the coronavirus. But us as parents have to, you know, work with them, spend quality time with them now. And I, I compel you to be present. Look them in the eyes. Look at your wife, your significant other, whether you're married, not married, children, no children. It's your time. To say to yourself, when this is all over, because it's going to be all over, ladies and gentlemen, someday. How are you going to come out of this? What I think is really important is, and we talk about this all the time, right? We talk about this all the time. Every day is Friday. But on a serious note, can you just imagine we're one stop away from something crazy to happen? This was a warning shot. What are you going to take with this warning shot <clears throat> when your time, when this is all over, how you doing, Eric? What's up, Eddie? What up, Mona Queen? When it's all over, what are you going to change? What are you going to create? What person are you going to become? Will you appreciate life a lot more? Will you appreciate every day when you wake up in the morning that, you know, I could breathe? During this time, it could be two weeks, three weeks, four weeks home. What are you going to do that you've wanted to do for a long time, and you always said, I don't have time, I got the kids, I got this, I got that. Now you have all the time in the world to find who your true self is. You have time to work on your mental. You have time to read a book. You have time to do something that you've wanted to do for a long time. The excuses are gone. And as I'm out here, I understand, and I'm not a doctor, I understand what's happening out there, but we can use this time to understand that this life that we have is so precious. And in one second, Letitia, it could be taken away. So when you see your neighbor next time, say, good morning, how you doing? You see, if we were just able to have the opportunity to help people and understand that in this country or any country, we're here to help each other, man. We, if you have the ability to help someone else, now's the best time to understand, to volunteer your time. I've made phone calls for people in my neighborhood. I told them, listen, man, if you need to get out, I got you. If you need something, please reach out to me. Obviously, my family. I but we can do and we can help other people. People, Yeah, life doesn't need to be rushed. We need time to take, smell the roses. And, and, and if you look at right now, and if you really think about it, what's really important right now? Think about what's really important that we took for granted all the time. Love. It's so important. Hopefully you turn around to the people that you miss and you love and say, you know, I've been crazy with work. Life has been crazy and, and I'm sorry. I really wanted to, to spend more time with you. And I guess God said, hey, man, you don't have time to pray. You don't have the time to do anything. Well, guess what? I'm going to give you the time now. Now there's no excuses to show real hugs. You know, real hugs. I always tell my wife, I'm like, oh, Lord, I like warm hugs. Real hugs. If you watch the blind side, just really hug somebody. You can feel it. Family, I mean, look around you. All those small things that y'all argued about, are they really important right now? Look around you. The only thing we got is family, health, be thankful, love. It's all around you. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart. We're never the underdogs. Ever. And through this time, listen closely. We are the most resilient people in the world. 
when the pressure gets tough, we step our game up. And do we do whatever it is by all means necessary to make sure that everyone in this country is going to be okay. But hopefully, how you doing, Linda? Hopefully, we learn that working together, whether you're a Democrat, Republican, black, white, Asian. Listen, I grew up in Notion at Sheepset Projects. There was no color for me, ever. You a bad person, you a bad person. But I choose to be good. And I choose to love. And I choose to give. I've changed. And it was always in my heart to make people smile. And make people understand that life is so precious. And right now, ladies and gentlemen, please take the time to do things that you've always wanted to do. Whatever it is, it's your truth. Suzanne, how you doing? Carolyn, how you doing? It's your life. How you choose to live it is your truth. And the only way you can be happy is if you're authentic. And I can tell you, I was watching The Blind Side last night. I don't know if you watched that movie. And you know, put some tears in my eyes to watch how that guy came up. And when I watch those movies, and you probably watch a lot of movies too. If a movie gets you tripped up and gets into your soul, that movie gets into my soul because that lady saved his life. That gets me right in my heart. And when I watch those movies and I see people doing good things and getting out there. And, and listen, there's a lot of bad in this world, but I choose to be good. And I choose to look positively. And I look to do whatever I can by all means necessary to, you know, be contagious. Hopefully I'm contagious to all ages. I have a friend of mine who has a little boy. Um, good friend of mine. Uh, he's about 10 years old. It, it hit me yesterday because um, he's got anxiety. And uh, there's no reason, it, no names here. How you doing, sis? And a lot of kids have anxiety in school. A lot of kids have anxiety outside. A lot of kids that we grew up, like Generation X, we did our thing. You know, we were like, what's up, man? We go outside, we handle our business. These kids are living with serious anxiety. And I think, you know, us as original OGs <laughs> who've been through it, who understand it, had got through it, manage it, work it, we're the ones. Absolutely, June. You do whatever. Please share if you want. Please, to the people that need it. I, I, I mean that. Share it with anybody that you believe needs this. Because I saw a picture of a little boy, and the mom hit me up and said, my little boy watches you. Oh, this got me. Ah, that's why I do it. Sorry, y'all, it is, it's what it is, right? Um, I just love when I watch him, and he's sitting there watching my video. Whew, changes my life, bro. Because that one kid, I got to. Can't help it, bro. It's, it's in my blood. Ah. So, you know, that being said, Maria, and I totally, you know, please share it. Yeah, June, that's cool because this kid says, you know what, Ma? This guy really cares. He really likes to help people and he sits there watching. 10 years old. It made me happy that I'm changing his life, man. Because that's what I'm here for. Some people have their calling, and this is it. So just because you got tears in your eyes don't mean you're... Nah, I'm just kidding. Sometimes you get emotional, but it's, it's love emotion. And I got teared up seeing so much anxiety and so much hurt. And especially now when they confine us to the crib. How you doing, Anthony and Tamara and Alicia? But we can, we can do things here. We can inspire people. We can help our neighbors. We can get online. We can call our friends. We can, we can give them compassion. We, there's people that have worse anxiety, people with worse situations than us. Pick up the phone and tell them it's going to be okay. We're going to get through this together, man. And if you need me, pick up the phone. I got you. We all got to band together as one, man, because if you go like this to somebody, it ain't going to hurt. But if you go like this, guess what? We work together. We're going to get through this, and we're going to come out stronger, and we're going to come out more powerful. And we're going to understand that looking back on this saying, hey, man, I'm going to live my day like every day is Friday because you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. Hey, Letitia, how you doing? Hey, Heather, thank you, Letitia. I appreciate it. Keep, keep spreading the love. Hey, hey, Alicia, keep spreading the love. So this, this, this little boy, man, um, was bullied in school and all kinds of stuff. And I'm going to send him a personalized video straight to him with his name. I'm going to talk to him. Because... Anxiety can be managed. And right now is the best time to make sure you control what you can control 
Hey, Heather, baby, how you doing, Heather Hart? Control what you can't control. And if you ain't heard, I got a lot of people on here that, you know, what up, Will, how you doing, baby? Listen to some old school music, man. I bought a 2,000-piece puzzle for me and the kids, man, so we can hang out with my wife and we can go. That's, that's going to take about three weeks. You know, so ladies and gentlemen, just know we've been through a lot as humans and we're going to get through this. But when we get through this, what are you going to create when you come out of it? It's really important. Hey, Jennifer, how you doing, baby? What kind of person do you want to be when this is all said and done? Look at the small things that you sweat. They're always predicting the future, right? We talked about stop predicting the future if you want to enjoy your life. Well, let me ask you a question. How many people on here predicted we'd be in this position right now? I'll bet you nobody. So let's not predict the future. Let's enjoy the present. How you doing, Dawn Ma? How you doing, PD boy? Nice to see you. So we couldn't predict the future. We didn't know this was coming. So enjoy the present. Stay focused on today. Because God gave us a gift, ladies and gentlemen. That's, what it, that's why I called it the present. So you know what? I'm going to leave you with something that's really, 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 really important. When you're grateful for what you have, you already have enough. Let me say that again. When you're grateful for what you have, you already have enough of what you need. What up, PD boy? How you doing, baby? Lori Joy, I love. Danielle Marino, a lot of what you're saying is why after experiencing 9-11, I changed focuses to be outside an office environment and create my own domain for my family. This is another time reflecting and living in this moment while it's happening will move us forward. Dan Danny, that's right, Danny. And everybody got to work on that mental. Good morning, Lori Joy. Mwah. All love for you. You already know. Yo, Billy. What's up, big boy? You know I pray for you. You're my dog, baby. We grew up together. My man says it's good to be where we are, surviving where we came from. That's what's up, Bill. Listen, if, 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 if it didn't take us down in the BK, didn't take us down with the... With, with, we was crazy kids. Come, let's keep it real. We got up. We stood up. And we never gave up. You see... That's what I compel everybody, man. They, 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 everybody may try to knock us down, no matter where they come from. And I'm not here political. I'm not Democrat. I'm talking about human beings. People are going to try and bully kids. They're going to try and knock you down. They're going to try and take you. But make no mistake about it. We're not like that. You can knock us down. It don't matter because we're going to get back up. You knock us down three times, we're going to get back up with a vengeance. That's what makes us who we are. We have survived so much here in America. And I pray for the world. But make no mistake about it. Take this time to really reflect on your mental and keep this, keep this all right, Will. Keep this good, baby boy, because you're still here for a reason. I'm talking straight to you, Billy. You're here for a purpose, man. What you enjoy to do, and I watch your art, man. You are excellent, my brother. Do what you love to do and speak your truth. Don't worry about nobody else, man. You do you. And I pray for you. And I sincerely mean that, Bill. I know you're a long time. I got love for you, baby boy. You, you keep up the fight. It's right here. You see... Let me, let, me, let me tell you something that's going to be really compelling. They can take away your car. They can take away your house. They can take away your money. And they can take away all your titles. But they can never take away your mind. They can never take away your mind. So through this, ladies and gentlemen, let's understand we're going to come out of this like we always have. And we're going to come out of this stronger. And if, and if you like, whatever your life, whatever you see, whatever you want to become, how you want your life to unfold. Billy, I'm always here, baby. Take a good look at it and say to yourself, am I living the life that I want to live? Am I at the job that I want to be? Am I being the happiest person I want to become? Am I doing things that make me, my family, people I love happy. Because it's, it's capable and we can do it. And together, everybody, we're going to get through this. Nothing but love for everybody. And I totally mean this from the bottom of my heart. When all said and done, 
Let's come out here. Let's all make the world a better place. Because I promise you, how you doing, Giovanna? It's so much nicer to help someone if you can and watch that smile to say, thank you. I appreciate you thinking about me. We need to have more of that, ladies and gentlemen. With all the social media and everything, I think there's nothing wrong with it. You just got to know where it comes from. And use this platform to help people with whatever you've been through. And I've been through a lot. But I know one thing, I persevered for one reason, because I have a purpose. And that's to live to become the best version of myself I can be. And I compel you all to do the same. What up, Johnny boy? How you doing? So I'm gonna come on here. We're gonna have some positive vibes because I'm a speaker. That's what I do. I mean, real estate's out here and, and I do that as well. And uh, right now I just, in, from the bottom of my heart to yours, just know that everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be all right. Ain't nothing could keep us down, nothing. The only thing that could keep us down is you. Here. Let's get it, people. All love for everybody out here. Enjoy the time with your family, your friends. Create something that you've wanted to create for a long time and you haven't been able to do it. And give love to the people in need if you can. Let's all make the world a better place when we come out of here. I'm just tired of watching the hatred, the hate. Social media, people bullying, people trying to be tough, trying to be cool. It ain't cool. What's really cool? Kind is the new cool. See, when I was a kid, cool means you cool. A little different. <laughs> Kindness is the new cool. And look at me. I'm, a, I'm an OG from the BK. <laughs> and I'm saying kindness is cool because it's real. Because you learn your lessons. And you understand that it's much better to help somebody than to hurt them. And that's how I choose to live. And hopefully, some of you do too. How you doing, Natalie? Hey, Andrew, how you doing, everybody? So I just wanted to come out here a little bit just to have some real conversations and say, um, I'll be out here again. I woke up this morning and said, my God, I woke up again today. I'm the luckiest person in this world. Ladies and gentlemen, go have some breakfast. Get some bacon and eggs if you feel like it. Because you know what? Ready for this? It is much nicer. I always say, eat more pancakes and less rice cakes. It's a good metaphor, right? Eat more pancakes and less rice cakes. And enjoy this life. Enjoy whatever it's given us. Because Mona Queen, every day is Friday. And through this, we get through this together as a team. Enjoy. You got it, Joey. Enjoy. Get out there. Enjoy yourself. Listen to what people are saying. Making sure that you ain't hurting nobody else. Take care of your family. Get a board game. Get a video game. Get some coffee. You know, play some basketball in front of your crib. Do get out. Do things you haven't normally done that you've been waiting for that you couldn't do. And let's get out there together. Mwah! And understand, we all gonna get through this, and we all gonna be okay. One love for everybody. Until next time, a Teresa Burns. Really, John. Always nice to see you out here. And please, give your kids a hug. Give them a kiss. Because we're going to be with them for a softball, Danny. You already know I'm about it. Because we're going to be with them youngins and your significant other and your family and everybody. And find a way to enjoy these times. Because I promise you, when this is all said and done, we're going to wish we had more of these. And I don't mean coronavirus. I just mean quality time. Let's get it. How you doing? One love. Please share. Please give it to people that need it. 
no problem sharing it to anybody you know, you know, and, 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 and I would totally appreciate if someone does need it and they can see it and hopefully they understand that it's gonna be okay. And I know people with anxiety and mental issues and all that kind of stuff, it's manageable. If you're managing it very well, call a friend who isn't. Love y'all. See you soon. Enjoy as much as you can today. See you soon. Peace.